The princess turned quickly and bumped into a guard. The guard spilled gooey mud and string all over her. Holy pumpkins! Watch yourself, guard! Peepers ordered, or you'll spill all over the grand matron. I am very sorry, your highness," the guard said. But I am not a guard. I am the chef, and that is not the grand matron. It is Duke, the royal mascot. Jeepers! Peepers cried. But then the princess remembered the ball. I can't see the prince like this. She dashed to her room to get ready. The princess spent. Hours dressing herself, so she'd look just right for the prince. See, Princess Peeper said to herself, "I don't need glasses." When a lady in waiting came to check on the princess, Peepers asked, "How do I look?" Um, you look um remarkable," the lady in waiting said. The princess hurried toward the ballroom. Oh, fairy dust! The princess said, "I'm early," but this didn't fluster Princess Peepers. I'll work on my dance steps while I'm waiting. So she whirled and twirled around the room, the way she would dance with the prince. That night, but she whirred and whizzed and bobbled and blurred right out the window. Ah! Peepers screamed. Flump! Holy glass slippers! Peepers cried. I'm so glad this horse was here. She patted the horse on the head. Madam. The horse said, "I am Prince Peerless." Last I checked, the prince. She cried, "Oh, magic mirrors! I do need my glasses." You wear glasses, the prince said. Why? So do I. It was love at first sight. After they put on their glasses. And they all lived happily ever after.